Give us an idea of the best job you had in sports and the worst job in uh, in broadcasting you had. Uh, I, I appreciate you having me, uh, Dan. I, I would say that the funnest job I had uh, was at Cal Lutheran when I was a, I was a student. I was allowed to be uh, the the PA announcer, so I was I was actually the PA announcer for men's and women's basketball, for uh, women's volleyball, and for baseball, and so. Um, I had a blast doing that. They paid me like twenty-five bucks a game, and uh, it was uh, it was the, the funnest time I had. The, the worst job I I was like a, a marketing guy for like a, a extra AM eleven fifty extra there in, in Los Angeles. And uh, although it, it sounds uh, fun, uh, you know, we, we used to ride around like the, like a Hummer and throw t-shirts at people on the beach and all that stuff and uh that it sounds like a blast but it was uh it was pretty boring oh wait you're part of the street team for extra sports where you're going to the beach to hand out t-shirts huh that's exactly i was at one point in my life yeah absolutely did you also cut highlights for uh, fox's nfl show uh, i did yeah i was uh uh every sunday during the season it was cool it, you know division three football uh, playing Division Three allowed me a, a lot more uh, freedom during the season. So on Sundays, I would drive down to uh, wherever I can't remember where the studios are, but uh, uh, down there off the off the 101, and uh, go in and and uh, I got to shake hands with with Howie and JB and those guys, and and sit there and and get paid to watch NFL games and and cut highlights. Wait, how old were you? Were you like 20, 21? Yeah, probably 21, maybe. Yeah, something like that. It was a union job, too. So how about this, DP? So every now and again, you'd show up, and uh, if they only had one game for you to watch, you watched your your four hours worth of that that game, but they paid you for eight. I thought that was the coolest thing, man. I started uh, uh, really enjoying the the whole union thing there for a while. Did you ever get yelled at for your highlights? Uh not that I can remember. That was a long time ago, but uh, I'm, I probably I get yelled at for everything. <laughs> if you didn't go into coaching, like, were you thinking of doing a having some kind of job in sports broadcasting? Yeah, yeah, I, I really I, I thought that's that's what I wanted to do, and um, I thought that would keep me close to the game. And and um, and no offense to. to uh, sports broadcasters, but it just didn't all, all of my interactions with, with it, you know, I, I, um, uh, had so, a couple radio show or, uh, yeah, radio shows and stuff like that, that, uh, it just, it just didn't, it wasn't like being in the locker room. And, and, uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to try this coaching thing, uh, while I'm young and, and know that I'm not going to make any money. And, you know, if I'm 29, 30 and, and I don't like it or things aren't working out, you know, maybe I'll switch, has at that point but um I, it just the, the sports broadcasting thing just wasn't quite close enough not not quite as uh relational uh, as i i wanted it to be the dan patrick show weekday mornings on audience